Uh, another one of my Kadak Chai moments which I'm having. Anyway, um, in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts about uh, this YouTuber. He is really big. I mean, Durv Rathi. He has 17 million subscribers. And uh, I mean, if you look at his videos, every video of his is like uh, 15 million, 22 million, uh, 13 million. In fact, uh, the specific video that I want to speak about is where he has called uh, uh, Modi, Prime Minister Modi, a dictator. Where is that? Yeah, this one, this year, which you can see, is clocked in at 22 million views. Okay, 22 million. If you go to his popular videos, I'll go to his popular videos. Um, the Apollo was 24 million, 24 million. Yeah. Is India becoming a dictatorship? This one is right now. It is the third most popular video. I'm pretty sure this is going to go and become his most popular video. He has called Prime Minister Narendra Modi, more or less the dictator. So now the question is, what do I think of it? Mm, nice. Kadak chai. <sighs> now, the reason I'm um, talking about this video is because, uh, you, you know, in my WhatsApp group, uh, there were, uh, there was one person, two, two people who asked me, what do I think about this? What do I think about this guy? Okay. And do I think he, what he's saying is right or wrong? So I'll share with you my views. You let me know what do you think. Now, first and foremost is, um, I'll tell you, I'm a little biased towards him. I'll be very transparent and honest. I'll, I think of this guy as exceptionally intelligent, very, very intelligent. Every video of his, see, I'm a YouTuber. Mine are very casual videos. His are, you know, they are not high in graphics or they are not high in um, production value is there, but it's not like uh, Mr. Beast. But the content that he puts out, the content, I have nothing but absolute and total respect for the guy. The content that he gives, I do not know how he comes out with this content, but I can definitely tell you he must have a world-class researching team and he must be paying them loads of money. He must be throwing money at them because every video of his is so well researched it becomes a very scary uh, proposition to even debate or argue with him or prove him wrong. I mean, I have seen uh, claims. I've seen claims about him being uh, anti-national, uh, him being a traitor, him being sponsored by Congress and all that, which is the typical uh, garbage which people send like for example I'll, I'll give a small example look here in my comment section and people are saying his channel should sh shut down okay i'll give you a simple example uh see this one here this guy user cw9rz6dh3b he has put it on a public platform this guy uh, what he says i the video that i stated is why i'll never go back to uae but over here this guy he has, uh, if you right click on his profile, he has put this publicly. Huh? His name is Santosh Ramachandran. Okay, I'm not trying to attack him. I'm trying to tell you what he has commented below my channel publicly. He has stated, pretty clear you're uneducated. He's telling me, ill-traveled, ill-lettered, ill-spoken piece of dash. You, you know, okay. If you do one more video about of India bashing, he's telling me, if you do one more video of India bashing, your channel will be taken off YouTube. Okay, so I just responded to him, uh, user so-and-so, aka Santosh Rajmar Chandran, I'll be uploading a new India bashing video in 60 minutes, which is this one. Look forward to you keeping your threat alive, keep me posted on your progress, homie. Okay, so this is one. And another one is this individual, she posted publicly once again i had put why do indians bullshit so much or why do indians exaggerate so much i give three specific examples of my experience 
and she said her uh, this is her profile and remember she has put this publicly nidhi shukla okay she has publicly stated what she has stated this man should be reported and blocked from youtube for spreading hate i am giving my example of three people an experience i've had and she says that because i'm sharing my experience i should be blocked reported and blocked and uh, blocked from youtube for spreading hate so i said what is preventing you i encourage you to not only report but also to the local police my details phone number email address even my residential address is available on the internet keep me posted on your progress now why am i showing you both this it is not to attack them it is to share with you i am just you know in these 2 3 hours these are some some of the comments that i get even though i am sharing my experience even though i am telling you what i experience they are stating that this is hate they are stating that this is uh, what uh, spreading hate and you know like the anti national so when durv rathi this guy speaks on india the democracy on educating people and i'll tell you this this video of him speaking about the dictatorship i watched the video not fast not to x speed watched it i didn't do anything else other than sipping tea because i wanted to make sure if i'm going to comment on this guy i should know what the hell i'm talking about the amount of facts facts not a version of truth okay facts remember there is truth and then there are facts truth can be you will give your version of the truth another person will give his version of the truth truth can be my experience like for example when i share i experience this with this guy so that is my version of the truth so maybe the same guy will treat you nicely so is he a bad guy or good guy so that's the truth i'm giving you my version of the truth he is giving his version of the truth but when you state a fact fact f a c t with evidence it doesn't become my version of the truth or his version it is a fact this guy durv rathi i will just put this on mute you know when you watch that whole video the uh, incredible facts that he has given he has shown how people worship modi how people love modi how people consider him god see like this lady what she says i am in love i am in love where she says here i am in love with him okay people consider modi father brother uh, you know family god okay so he states a lot of facts and then one by one he breaks it down to how people are being bribed how oppositions are being put in jail and he gives a wonderful analogy he says you say india's democracy india we vote for the government we vote for whom we want in power then he says north korea is also a democracy they vote for whom they want in power okay but because kim jong un is the most powerful nobody votes against him putin also in russia there are elections it's a democracy but only putin gets into power why because if anyone else speaks against putin is either dead like uh, boris nemstov he was opposition leader and even that uh, other guy na uh, who candidate uh, he got poisoned or something Uh, okay so he gives valid points man and then he clearly states imagine clearly states all the examples of this this guy in this electoral uh, this thing who was rigging all the stuff i mean it you know i'll i'll tell you this if you love modi and if you want modi to be in power you'll feel very happy you'll be like don't care a damn he's playing the game of politics but understand this if tomorrow if tomorrow you don't like a policy of modi or you change your mind then that very same friend can become your biggest enemy just imagine right now you're supporting modi you're in love with modi you uh, talk very highly of modi why because the the religion he is hindu you're hindu is doing things or his ideology or his political party agrees with you know you agree with this point of view but when you give absolute power to one individual or one party it can prove to be dangerous 
just like if you have a very good friend, very close friend who's very powerful and he destroys everyone who's against him. And as long as you support him, he's nice to you. But one day if he does something that you don't like, then what will you do? See, remember, as long as maybe Modi is in power, fine, nothing's going to. After Modi goes, the next batch of leaders that come in with the BJP power will be even more corrupt. And you will pay the price. See, look, I don't have anything against Modi. Whether Modi is in power, Rahul Gandhi comes in power, which I don't think, or Mamta Banerjee, or uh, uh, that uh, uh, Aam Aadmi Party guy, it doesn't impact me one bit. I'm, I'm being honest with you. It, uh, whether it's a communist party, whether it's Aam Aadmi, Congress, uh, Mamta Banerjee's party, I don't benefit. My bank balance doesn't go up. My bank balance doesn't go down. Uh, I don't get more clients. I don't get less clients. I'm okay. Then you'll say, then why don't you mind your own goddamn business? Why? Because I consider India as my country. Being as a as an Indian passport holder, I, I do care. I do interact with Indians. I do speak to Indians. In my groups, the majority are Indians. And you do feel, you do feel, sheesh man, what's happening to my country? That is what I'm not interested in. USA, just, you know, I might talk about a transgender issue, but it doesn't matter. But here what is happening is you have a guy like Durv Rathi, a young man, who is giving you facts. I mean, how can you prove him wrong? What is he saying wrong? Tell me in the, um, you know, in the report that he has put, he's very, he's very right. All the media houses, all the newspapers, all, sorry, the media company, all are purchased by the BJP or people who support the BJP. You know, Adani, he purchased, I think, NDTV. So now all the news anchors, everyone is praising Modi, hyping Modi, loving Modi. That is, that should be a bit of concern for you. I've told you, I, I personally believe Modi is the best person for India. I've told you this time in and time again. I don't think there's anyone as strong as Modi who can really control these group of Indians. But when you give absolute power to anybody, any individual, it corrupts. I'll, I'll tell you this. Right now, you'll be completely blind. You will not give a damn. Why? Because it's your political party, Hinduism and Hindutva. And, uh, you know, you kind of like all this stuff. You will not feel the pain of being on the opposite side. However, I can assure you this much. Yes, Modi will succeed. Yes, BJP will succeed. Yes, right now they are destroying all the competition that there is. But what will happen? This is my prediction. What will happen is the few people who are in power will become very rich, very powerful, invincible, untouchable. You who is the middle class, if you play your cards right, fine. But then you would not be able to do anything. You would not be able to protest. You would not be able to go against. Uh, you can't demand. Let's say you're, if you're not happy with your salaries, if you're not happy with the high taxation, if you're not happy with the infrastructure, if you're not happy with the unemployment, if you're not happy with the policies of the government, you cannot do anything. It all sounds good when you know my party, my religion, my group is benefiting. See, this, this young man, the Durvrati, unbelievable, man. unbelievable, the amount of facts that he puts out. He is a master at what he does. I mean, look at the bloody views, man. If you see the most popular, 24 million, 24 million, 23 million, 22 million, 22, 19, 18. I mean, the guy is smashing it. It's very easy to hate on the guy. In fact, you know, honestly speaking, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Uh, 
he can get even assassinated i mean he's making very powerful enemies i don't know how he's not scared he's speaking against the most powerful people in india the most powerful i wouldn't have the guts he has i'm i'm being honest i do not know how he has so much guts i mean even if you stay abroad you know you can just get someone to finish him off uh, i i really sincerely from my heart of hearts i hope nothing happens to him he, he's a he's he's like one of those edward snowden uh julian assange kind of characters i really hope he's safe and man he you're talking of balls and guts the guts on this guy the balls on this guy Whew. he is really something and he's taking on the most powerful man in india modi i don't know how how he's doing that i really don't know how he's doing that see overall what i'd like to tell you is we are living in crazy a very crazy time if you actually look at it we are living in a day and age today where even if you show evidence even if you prove something uh, the social media narrative can be twisted like how these people give me threats what your uh, what uh, one more video your channel will be taken off youtube and this lady says you should be reported and blocked for spreading hate even though i'm giving my examples my my personal examples with indians for reporting my ex, uh, my experience it's called hate so w- what should i do only praise india hey india number one all indians are number one all indians are great then that is okay i mean are we all supposed to sing the same narrative it's either you're for us or you're against us if you don't praise modi if you don't praise the bjp you are anti national you are islamist you are sponsored by george soros you are evil i mean uh, if you look at his video durvrati's video i i my open challenge to you tell me what is he saying wrong he has given newspaper uh, dates uh, headlines facts tell me what is he saying wrong and his video is what 23 minutes nearly half an hour his uh, one video is 29 minutes another one is 23 minutes 23 minutes of content nearly 1 hour if you take both the videos 1 hour of content 1 hour i challenge you prove him wrong the guy is unbelievable yeah it's it's so rare that we get uh, an individual like edward snowden or julian assange he is the julian assange he is the edward snowden of india and i sincerely hope sincerely that nothing happens to him he is fighting or he is taking like this in india no panga with very powerful people and he is taking on the most powerful man in india the most powerful man in like almost the world like putin is powerful trump is powerful modi is powerful this this young man this i just hope nothing happens to him seriously so you wanted my opinion i have nothing but regard respect he is a rare human being and i hope more people like him come forward more people not just 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 to speak against modi but to have the courage to speak the truth um you can speak against rahul gandhi you can speak against uh, kejriwal you can speak against uh, whomsoever we need more people like him and this is the creme de la creme or this is the these are the kinds of people whom should make an indian feel proud he is incredible you wanted my opinion hats off to this guy i'm i am i am nowhere compared to him i'm nowhere i'm not even 1% of the content the research the incredible value that he is offering uh, he is even better than an ndtv a cnn a bbc for india he is that good at what he does and if you ask me i would absolutely endorse and support watching his his content he is unbelievable so you want to 
my opinion about this guy, Durvrati, this is my opinion about him. Let me know what you think. You agree, disagree? Feel free to comment down below. And honestly, I would say subscribe to his channel, support his channel. He's the man. I have nothing but respect. This is what I have to say. Feel free. Tell me if I'm wrong. I would love to hear from you. Good, bad, ugly. Comment down below. This is me signing off. And uh, to those wonderful people who wanted to... What? If you do one more video of India bashing, your channel will be taken off YouTube. Oh, very good. And what? You, this man should be reported and blocked from YouTube. I'll keep giving my personal experiences. Don't talk, no, do something if, if you feel that strongly. Why are you telling me? Do something. Until then, let me have my Kadak Chai. Let me pour and show you that I'm drinking Kadak Chai. This is the flask. And this is, sorry, this is my Kadak Chai. You can see the steam, you can see the steam. Uh, uh, milky tea. I like a milky masala chai. Mmm. Oh, oh. Gazillion dollars. This is gazillion dollars chai. So, Mr. Durrati, I know you'll never see my video. You are up there. 23 million views, one video. Mine is only 200. But for whatever you're doing for the Indian community, Sir, to see great hope, seriously. And to you, Mr. Durrati, and all your supporters, including the haters, cheers. Ah, I really hope nobody tries to hurt or harm this young man from my heart. Man, you really have a set of balls to take on Modi. And uh, not only Modi, the entire BJP. I don't know how the fuck you do it, but you are, <laughs> you're great, sir. You're really great. Anyway, good, bad, ugly. Feel free to comment down below. This is me signing off. Chal, you guys take care.